Oh, today's an exciting day. Today's an exciting day because we have got a new helmet that we are going to show you guys. And I'm going to take this helmet out. Desk is a bit of a mess, I'm just saying. I'm going to take this helmet out and we're going to go for a ride and see what we think. And that's coming up right now. All right, my friends, here we go, ready? This is, this is the box. And as you can see, this box is empty. Yes. I got excited and opened it already. Yeah, first off, this is by a company that, I'm gonna be completely honest, I had never heard of, called Nenki. And I was just kinda perusing around the interwebs and stumbled across some of their helmets and I was like, hmm, I'm a little curious as to how good these helmets can be because their pricing was fantastic. And as you can see here, this helmet here, this is what this is, the Dual Sport Motorcycle Helmet, DOT certified, the NK310, full face motocross, off-road, dirt bike, ATV, MX, mirror-free, interchangeable, blah, 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 blah. It is the NK310. That's what's in this box. And as you look, there's the picture right there in the corner. Nice box, super happy. Now, just so you guys know, it does come, I got this one, this is the black and red one, but it does come in a bunch of colors. So you'll see here it comes in a, they call it black with green, with a matte. Um, think of it like the, that fluorescent high-vis yellow kind of color. Now, that wouldn't have been bad either because I have a high-vis jacket, so that could have been nice, but I wear my red one way more often. It also comes in this crazy thing, right, which is this blue with eyes and kind of all kinds of weirdness. And the same kind of thing with blue and that yellowy, greeny color. Red's, red's where I went, you know, because there they are down here. I wanted the good old, good old black and red. I think that's a, that's a good look at helmet. The real question is, what comes in the box? Well, I've already, like I said, I've already taken it out because I kind of had to. It comes normally in this nice little carry bag, which it's in, and you can use that for carrying it around. So carry bags are important. Most helmets come with them. Nanky, soft on the inside, big enough for the helmet. Also in the box, which is important, is that it comes with a visor already attached, which is the one that's kind of in the pictures that you're seeing here, which is, you know, this cool like mirrored one. But it also comes with a clear visor. So this is an anti-scratch visor, they call it. So anti-fog, anti-scratch, that's something that's kind of handy to carry around with. I do kind of wish that maybe they would have brought or given you maybe a little, protective bag to carry this in separately would be kind of cool if you're going to give this so I can throw this in my luggage my my saddlebags and carry it with me so I can change it and last but not least here it comes oh look at that come on now that's a smoking nice helmet right a few things with this helmet it's got really nice ventilation through the front. Now, one of the things, and, and I've never had an adventure style helmet, and I don't know if this is the standard, the vents aren't vents that you can open or close. They are just, they're just open, just, just open. If you don't want that, then this isn't a helmet for you. You have ventilation through here, and you can really feel it on the inside. You have vents here and here, which is also good. On the top, you have vents just above the visor. So there's are also some intake vents. And then on the rear, you have exhaust, exhaust, two more exhausts here, right there, and right there. And it feels like a little bit on the bottom there's something there. I'm not quite sure what that is, but it could be a vent, I'm thinking, maybe. The matte finish, really nice. The visor, and I'll do this, visor, super nice, nice. It's a snug feel, so you can just kind of give it that down it comes. Shape-wise, now the other thing, just so you guys know, it doesn't have, because a lot of cruiser helmets and touring helmets and things like that have an internal visor, so like a sunshade. This one does not have that, so be aware. The visor up top here with screws is removable if you so choose, you can take that off. These are, as you can see in the back, DOT certified, so that's excellent. You also get a nice little buckle here for the tightening, which is good. Liner-wise, all of this here is removable. So if you take this, you can, where am I here? There it is. You know, you can snap these off. So all of this liner can come off if you so choose. If you look in here, 
uh, what does it say? Dot approved, high impact resistant ABS thermal plastic composite shell and EPS impact foam and cushion lining. Great visibility, red mirror visor and extra anti-fog clear visor. Air permeable, multiple vents designed for all around cooling, agreed. Perfect fit, adjustable steel D-ring buckles with a buttoned chin strap. Yep, easy to clean, removable and washable inner liner. So yeah, 100%. Let's go out for a quick ride, shall we? We'll put this on. We'll come back and uh, talk about what we think. Yeah, let's do that. All right, guys, so we're going to go out now and test this helmet, see what it's like. So, so you can guys can uh, get a look-see what you think, what I think. Starting to warm up a little bit. It's a whopping plus seven outside right now. It's a quick, quick ride just around the block just to see what this is like. And if the helmet's... The fit is really good. I have to say the fit, there's no complaints. I think it feels really nice. It fits at least my head really good. I, I almost always take a large to extra large. This was an extra large. And I have to say, I think it fits me just right. So I definitely wouldn't want it any bigger. And this is a extra large. And, uh, well, honestly, I don't think I'd want it any smaller either, so. It was nice. I actually contacted them and told them my head size, and they told me exactly what size a helmet that I should get. We have uh, another set of their helmets coming up in a future video, which hopefully should come out fairly soon. But the key is that those helmets I actually had to get, they said, in a large. And this one in an extra large. Take your sweet time. It's all right. Nobody's got any place to go. You're okay. Yeah. So, kind of be aware of that. And I'll talk about that when I get the other ones. So, this one seems to be sized about normal. You know, having problems with my pant leg. Not sure what's going on here. One pant leg's a mess. It's weird. Get on this other street. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna bring my visor down. So if anything else, I have to say I think it's a really cool-looking helmet. And for me, we're in black and red. Um, the helmet fits my stuff just beautifully. So definitely looks good. Um, sound wise I'm actually very impressed you know it's fairly quiet for a helmet especially of this price you know you really wouldn't expect a helmet that's in that you know I want to say hundred hundred fifty dollar range to to be very you know sound protected but it's actually pretty good it's not gonna be like showy quality or anything like that but you know I would put this up against my HGC or my G Max or anything like that and say it's just as good if not maybe even better and it's not a heavy helmet by by any means which is really nice so I'd have to say in all aspects of that it's good and airflow seems really decent I'm not getting any you know I'm not fogging up at all it's got a really big you know front visor on it so you know, you, you you get really good visibility, which is always a concern for me, especially. I used to ride a lot of cruisers, so I used to ride, you know, you know, half helmets and three-quarter helmets and things like that. And when I first started getting into wearing like things like modulars and then full face, I really noticed a little bit of the fact that my vision felt a little, you know, obscured, felt a little, you know, blocked a bit. So I'm like, I can't see my peripherals as good as, as I usually could, especially with like a half helmet. Um, but the protection, of course, is way better on a full face. Now, this is a DOT certified helmet, which is fantastic. You know, you want to make sure you have that, which does mean that visibility-wise is nice and high. I think they say for a DOT, it needs to be like 200 degrees or something like that. Maybe even 220. I'm not 100% sure. But not only has this one got that width for visibility, you know, it's got height 
which I really like too. So, you know, because it's a very long front face shield on the front, right? So that's really nice too. Now, the other thing that I find is really um, nice that comes with the box or what comes with the helmet is the fact that it comes with two different face shields. So it does come with this one. So this one's, you know, dead sexy. Come on now, it's super nice looking. But it also comes with a clear one. So if you are riding at night or riding in, you know, different kind of weather, you have the ability to, to change that visor. Now we're gonna be going on a trip this coming uh, June and I will definitely bring the second visor with me because you just never know, you know, you might be in for a 400 or 500 kilometer day and it's raining or it's just crap weather out and the last thing you want is maybe a tinted visor because hard enough to see as it is and you just don't need to make it harder. So you switch your visors up and off you, off you go. The only thing that I would have liked to have seen, and again, I'm griping, this is me just nitpicking it a little bit, would have been something to carry, to carry the second visor in so something that's you know not going to scratch it because right now it just comes in like you know a plastic protection piece which is fine in the box but if you're riding and i got to throw this in my saddlebags or, or in my you know in the trunk in the back here then i may want to have something a little more protective so i don't get there and realize it just scratched my my visor so now the other thing to be aware of too and i'm going to just bring this up so just be aware the audio may not be as good i'll kind of tuck beneath my windscreen here. Everything's really simple to get to, and like it lifts really nice, which is super good. But the other thing is that when you actually have it lifted, and I have this up as high as it'll go, one of the things is that you can't, or you can, sorry, see the visor. The visor doesn't go all the way up to the, to the point where you can't see it anymore. So that's a plus and a negative, depending on really who you ask. I like it. Um, two reasons I like it is the fact that when I want to actually pull it back down it's easy to know where it is it's like it's right here right it's no guessing it's like boom boom right so i can flip this down really fast the other thing i like and again it depends on who you are is because that visor is there any kind of sun glare that may be coming through this is going to help a lot but this is also going to protect any that kind of gets in the top it's just like having you know the cars where they have that top tinted piece along the top of their windscreen this kind of adds that to that so I kind of like that so again something little now some people may be like oh I can see the visor well depends on who you are just be aware of it it's yes you can um, I like it and I'm gonna bring this back down so really I, you know I'm a big fan of this helmet I, you know I thought I would like it I, I didn't think I'd like it this much it fits really nicely like there's no it's a nice light helmet you know it looks good it feels very well built the only thing that is going to be an issue maybe for some people is that because it's a, a brand that's not seen here, especially well, where I am and so it, in, in Ontario and Canada, you, it's not a, a brand that you can go to the store to, to try on or a brand that you can get replacement stuff. So if you want to get a new liner, you're probably going to have to you know, reach out to them to get one shipped. If you need a new visor, you're going to have to probably reach out to them to get one shipped. Um, so that kind of stuff can possibly be a, a bit of a hindrance, but again, at this price, honestly, like I have a couple of helmets. So if I'm in a scenario where I'm like, you know what, I need to send away for a visor because this one, whatever, got scratched, then I'll send away for a visor, get them to send me one, and uh, I'll just wear one of my other helmets or, or deal with the fact that I got a little bit of a scratch on it. So is that a big issue? I don't think so. But again, it's something to be concerned with or you know, to be aware of. Not really concerned, but I guess aware. And uh, I'm almost home. So, you know, super happy, super happy with this. I think it's it's a great helmet. Uh, we're gonna go in and do a final, final thoughts. I'm gonna pull the bike in. Hopefully all these cameras are recording. Um, I will, already went out once and did this and realized I got home and none of the cameras are turned on. So that's fantastic, really good. All right, I'm going to pull this into the driveway now, and uh, we're going to go in and talk about it. Squirrel. Squirrel. All right, so we've been on our ride now, and uh, I really like this helmet. This helmet comes in at, and this is U.S. pricing, of course, $97.99 right now. 
Now, I don't know if that's the sale price because it says original price was $119, but sub $100. That's nuts. Sub $100 for a helmet like this. I am super happy with this helmet. I think it's really good. Uh, on their website, of course, if you're on here, it's nenki helmets.com. You do have the ability to contact sales at Nenki Helmets if you so want to get a hold of them. And I actually did because I was a little curious about sizing. And I have another set of Nenki Helmets, two actually, and they're sized differently. This one actually came, they told me to get in an extra large. And the other helmets I got, they told me to get in a large. Contacting that sales may not be a horrible thing just for sizing because they actually wanted to get my, my melon circumference, my melon size, this part, to uh, tell me which helmet. So yeah, large in this one. No, that's not right. Extra large in this one, large in the other ones. So you might, you might want to give them a, a shout just to verify because I would have got the other ones too big and nobody wants it too big. Other than that, you know, I don't know what else to tell you about it. In my opinion for just wearing this helmet, you know, this past week really is what I've been wearing it. I'm super happy. It's, this helmet has a little bit more of an ovally. If you look at the inside, it's not as round. So if you have a really, really round head, now I have a bit of a round head for sure. And I find round helmets I fit better, but this one I had no problems with, but it is definitely more on the elongated than wide, kind of be aware of that, which is probably why they actually told me to go to an extra large in this one versus a large, just to get that little bit of extra width in it. Be aware of that. Other than that, super comfortable, nice light. Again, I'm not gonna put it up against four or five, six hundred dollar helmets, because are they gonna be better? Yeah, probably. At a hundred dollars American? I don't think you can, get, you can go wrong. I think it's a great helmet. I'm gonna put some links down to Amazon if you wanna look there. Uh, if not, you can talk to the guys right at Nenki Helmets. They should be able to give you a hand. All right, my friends, that's it for today. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Badass, right? That's so nice. Uh, I might be my new favorite helmet. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you there. Again, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Later, happy riding. Happy riding. Ride safe. Go out, go out there. Don't die on your bike. Wear a helmet. Don't do drugs.